So good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will talk about uh, my personal experience with the Lavour 504 tractor, give you some tips and uh, try to yeah, let you know a bit more about what it's like to use the tractor. So uh, keep watching and let's check it out. Okay, the tractor is a um, 50 horsepower four wheel drive and I bought it with the front loader also. I highly recommend uh, the front loader, it, it is really practical and uh, just gives you a lot more tractor if you have it. Now one of the things that's uh, kind of a reason for buying this tractor might be the price. Here in Norway where I live uh, the tractor cost uh, approximately uh, 300,000 uh, Norwegian crowners. That includes the, the front loader. Now as you can see the tractor has two double hydraulic outputs. Gives you uh, lots of great opportunities uh, for uh, different types of equipments. Like here I can uh, operate the snow blower from inside the cabin and it works uh, really nice. The cabin is big and it's comfortable. You get great views from inside. Uh, there's um, big windows. The doors are uh, basically windows too. And I think it's uh, just a comfortable and nice cabin. I like the seat also. It's easy to step inside. The springs in the seat are nice and you can also adjust it. And you can also uh, push the seat uh, forward and backward uh, depending on if you are a big or small person. The rear window can be opened but it only has one position. I would prefer to have a smaller position too for windy and rainy days. And now uh, one of the things I like uh, with the tractor is how they put up the transmission box. They have the two, the two traditional uh, gear handles here, the, they have a low, medium and high so you can actually change uh, the transmission three times, that's nice. But this is the lever you use for operating the tractor when you're working. Once you found the right gear, uh, you just uh, push this uh, forward or backward and the tractor goes with the same speed and uh, power both ways. So it's very practical to uh, work with the tractor. I like it a lot. This is the handle where you operate the front loader. By pushing it a little extra forward, you put the front loader in floating position, like that. If you have, for an example, uh, pallet forks on the loader, it's also po possible to um, push it uh, from side to side. The loader can lift approximately 900 kilos. So let's take a little look under the hood. You open the hood by pulling this lever here. It pops up. This is the main switch for the battery. You can turn it on and off, for an example, if you're not supposed to use the tractor for a while. The tractor is a mechanical tractor, so it's rather easy built. So if you're handy or maybe a mechanical, a lot of the maintenance uh, is possible to do it yourself. But uh, always be aware that if you don't understand the engines and the mechanicals, you should always ask some professional for help. If you need to tow somebody or, may or maybe be towed yourself, it's possible to um, Put a rope uh, on this uh, front hinge here. 
The diesel tank is on the side of the tractor and it makes it easy for you to fill it up. The tank takes 50 liters. So inside the cabin again. This is the main display. If you want to enter the four wheel drive mode, you push this lever downwards just when you're about to release the clutch. This is where you control the hydraulic outputs. This yellow button is where you connect the PTO. As an extra security, the PTO will automatically stop if you raise up from the seat. The top speed of the tractor is uh, 30 km per hour. Now the tractor is not uncomfortable to drive on the road, but I think it's a bit uh, uh, jumpy and that's probably because it don't have so much suspension. This might probably be one of the things I don't like the most about it. But hey, it's a machine meant for working, so it's okay. When it comes to pulling a trailer, I think it uh, does a great job. My experience uh, with how much load you can have is uh, if, if you, for an example, uh, drive uh, gravel, I wouldn't have had any more than uh, 3,500 kilos. If you have a trailer with a size that match the tractor, it's, it's just uh, such a valuable thing to have. Uh, you know, there's so many things you can, can do with a small trailer and it's really, really practical and handy. So uh, this is one of the things I've actually used uh, the most on the tractor. So I'm very, very satisfied with that. Okay, so that's what I remember for the most part uh, right now. Um, what can we wrap this up with? I like the machine a lot. Uh, it's a strong, uh, easy to drive little tractor. I have for the most part had just a uh, positive uh, experience with it. There was a one year warranty on it for at least uh, here in Norway. Uh, I had some issues with the electrical system, not uh, any big things, uh, just small things like uh, there was uh, one of the working lamp uh, that had a bad connection. It was actually a quick fix. All of this uh, was uh, repaired uh, uh, before the warranty went out, so uh, I didn't have any extra uh, costs on that. Uh, great service from my local dealer. Um, they. They did the, the first service on the tractor, uh, came out to me and did a great job there. They changed the uh, oil on the engine and on the gearbox and front axle. That's it for today's video. Um, I'll keep posting more uh, videos uh, with different uh, stuff from the tractor and also uh, other things uh, if you like this you can uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, follow me so um, that's it for now and uh, i wish you all a very nice day goodbye